Hi, I'm Megan Rebuse, the founder of Family Finance Mom, and I'm also the creator of the Finance Explained podcast, where each week I bring to you the latest financial headlines and more importantly, what they mean for you. So growing up, I came from a household that I would kind of describe as middle class and money was really not something that was talked about in our house. It really wasn't until my husband and I started talking about wanting to buy our first house and have kids that my mindset really shifted around being more financially literate. When we had our first child, I made the decision to stay home and raise my kids. And what I quickly learned was that I was still using the financial knowledge that I had built from a degree in finance and almost a decade working in the industry. And I was using it in my everyday family finances. I realized how much that knowledge base could be useful to other moms. So I launched Family Finance Mom in order to empower other women. So right now we have inflation at record highs. I'm encouraging people to do different things to try to offset some of those costs. Food is one of the areas where inflation is most significant right now. Grocery budgets can have most immediate impact. Meal planning and cooking more at home are great ways to reduce your food spend. The less processed foods that you buy, the less inflation you'll experience. The other thing that is helpful is buying local. One of the big sources of inflation right now are energy costs. And the more something has to be transported, the higher the cost. With investing, I encourage people that are interested to first make sure your high cost debts are paid off. You want to have an emergency fund set up so that you have some cash accessible and set aside in case you need to pay a unexpected bill. The next step is actually start to invest. Generally speaking, you don't wanna be putting money into the stock market that you think you're going to then need to take back out. You wanna be able to leave it there so that it can grow and compound over time. People are very skittish because we've lived through years of unprecedented things. But what I like to tell people is that all of this has happened before. Everybody keeps asking me like, is it still going to recover this time? The economy goes up and down, but each time it recovers and moves past the peak before. If your child can count, you can start to have conversations about money. The three things that I like to convey about money to my kids is that one, money is earned, two, that money has value, and then three, the benefit of saving. It doesn't have to be like, okay, tonight at dinner, we're going to talk about our grocery budget. Instead, I would say it's easier to do it just in everyday life. So if we're running errands and my daughter points something out and she's like, I want that, I will say, well, okay, well, how much does it cost? And then we'll have a conversation about like how much money that is. And we talk about the kind of concept of, is this a want or is this a need? The way to teach that money is earned is to actually allow them to earn money. And the easiest way to do that is through allowance. I think you should have some list of activities, ways that your kids contribute into your household that then allows them to earn whatever it is that you're going to give them every week. The other thing that is helpful is helping them start to set goals for their money and then encouraging them to save by like offering to match it the same way that like a bank would. So for example, if they want a new video game, maybe you tell them if you save half of it, I will match the other half you're starting to convey the benefit and the power of saving money. I'm truly grateful for my educational background that allows me to do what I love. I look forward to connecting with more families and women interested in improving the financial outcomes for themselves. And I'm excited we'll be launching the third season of my podcast this month. I hope it helps connect with more moms to join our Family Finance Mom community.